A $60 per barrel cap on Russian seaborne oil agreed upon by the European Union has come into force, aiming at limiting Moscow's income and curbing its ability to finance its war in Ukraine. With the deal being criticized by Ukraine, the cap yet is higher than the current market price for Russian oil and won't make much of a difference on Moscow's war chest. The cap took effect a day after the organization of the petroleum exporting countries agreed to stick to its oil output targets and Russia's largest oil buyers, namely China and India, have not yet committed to the oil ceiling. OPEC consists of Algeria, Angola, Republic of the Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Libya, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Venezuela. The allies are Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Brunei, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Oman, Russia, South Sudan and Sudan. According to the United States Energy Information Administration, the member countries produce about 40% of the world's crude oil and represent 60% of the total petroleum traded internationally. Amongst these, Russia is the second largest producer of crude oil, coming in behind Saudi Arabia. It was in October that it pumped more than 9.7 million barrels per day. Two months ago, the members agreed to cut production by 2 million barrels per day from November until the end of 2023. The cut amounted to about 2% of world demand. The move angered the Western states and Washington accused the OPEC of siding with Russia despite its invasion of Ukraine. European countries that are part of the Organization for Economic Cooperation imported 34% of their oil from Russia in November 2021. Russia that month exported 7.8 million barrels per day. The OECD's European member, Germany, imported the largest quantity of crude oil and refined oil products in November 2021, owing to being 31% of the total oil imports. It was after Russia's invasion of Ukraine that some European countries, including Finland and Lithuania, reduced their reliance on Russian oil. Other countries, such as Slovakia, Turkey and Italy have increased the percentage of their oil imports coming from Russia since 2021. The United States, Canada, Japan and New Zealand have moved ahead to imposing sanctions on Russia since its invasion of Ukraine. The sanctions target its banks, military exports and oil refineries.